Hi again all, I am back and I am back with another vlog for you guys today. Now initially, um, I was going to wait to do this one, but I figured I would go ahead and do it and let you guys know kind of um, what happened um, in, in regards to my airbrush. I posted on my Makeup Junkie 75 page about it, but I wanted to go ahead and walk you guys through it as well and also to show you some of the awesome stuff that I got that there wasn't an issue with, okay? First of all, if you guys noticed, yes, I am wearing glasses. These are my brand new glasses, and they are by Coach. There is a glass case right there. Yep. So, um, just picked up my new glasses yesterday. They're awesome. I mean, I can actually, I can see really well through these, and I really like the frames. Um, I normally have to have glasses because I am extremely nearsighted. Like, when I watch TV and, um stuff like that because it's I, I do I it squint a lot and you guys might have noticed those of you who follow my channel might notice that sometimes when I'm talking or doing a vlog without my glasses I'll squint a little bit yeah but I can see I mean it's clear clearest day now and also if you notice I darken my hair again um I dyed my hair with special effects blue velvet yesterday because um the red was was awesome but the only problem is is that my hair has grown out uh, really fast, and I had probably about two and a half, three inches of roots. And I just dyed my hair um, a darker red, like last week. But it, for some reason, it's like even though red is supposed to have like really high pigmentation, it just didn't want to stick to my hair real well. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Time to do it dark. So I'm like in the dark again, and. Rule of thumb, it's like, even though it's summer, it's like, oh, it's summer, let's go for the light colors. It's like, no, I like the dark. So this is the, again, this is the blue velvet, and it is by Special Effects. And I just did this yesterday, so it's still nice and dark. Um, and with the lighting, you guys can see, like, a lot of the blue. It's like a really, really dark blue with, like, purple undertones in it. It's pretty cool, so. Um, <clears throat> okay, to go ahead and explain to you what's going on as far as my airbrush kit okay i ordered an airbrush kit about a week ago from amazon and i received it on friday and i was actually going to do a vlog on friday um all about my new airbrush kit and everything but there was one small problem um okay first of all i'll show you like the airbrush kit okay it came in a box this is the box that it comes in a little flap Flip that up, there's your airbrush kit. Okay, it's just a little portable airbrush machine, and um, which would have worked really well because I have a plug like right behind me, so I just wanted something pretty small and portable just to start off with. Okay, this is the plug, and this plugs into the machine. Okay, and then open this up. And it is bubble wrapped. Now, I want to also mention that this box, um, it didn't come like in a, um, a cardboard like Amazon box. This actually came like in a bubble wrapped uh, package that was put in my mailbox. Now, the one thing also is like the box kind of looks like it got stepped on. Um, but I mean, I was completely willing to overlook that. Now see, here you go. Unwrap the airbrush machine. The little compressor itself, okay? Has like four little feet on the bottom. And can you guys hear that? Okay, that <laughs> is actually where that's supposed to be. See the little hole right there? And see how like there's nothing there? Yeah, I received this and the AC adapter was broken off. Because I noticed that first thing, like, I could hear something rattling in there. Yeah, it's the AC adapter switch. So basically, that goes onto it, and you can't plug it in. So, um, but otherwise, you know what? Um, your on-off switch is here. Here's a little holder for your airbrush hose, which, by the way, the, the little needle... And the hose are perfectly fine. So, yep, and this is just a little slot for you to store your little airbrush gun. So, 
Um, and like I said, this is perfectly fine. And the hose, perfectly fine. And the plug and everything is also fine. It's just the little compressor was just missing the AC adapter switch. It got broken off. So, um, I realized that, you know, shit happens. And I contacted Amazon, who then contacted the seller, because it's not sold by Amazon.com. It's sold on Amazon, but it's by a sold by a third party. So Amazon contacted the seller. The seller then wrote me an email and wanted pictures of the damage, which I had already taken, so I sent them. I got an email back from them um, last night uh, when we got home from Viva Drag Vegas. Yes, we went to Viva Drag Vegas again. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and um, they said that Thank you for the pictures, and we'll send you another one out, but they obviously, they don't ship on the weekend. So, um, hopefully, I mean, they did respond pretty fast, so uh, the situation, as far as I know now, has been rectified. They're going to send me another one. So, I don't know if they're going to want this one back. They didn't mention anything about it, but before, um, if they do want the old one back just to, you know what, to... To see, like, yeah, hello, AC adapter switches. It's in there. Um, so it's not a, it's not an airbrush compressor. It's a maraca now. So, um, yeah, but um, bump. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so if they want this one back, I want to do a vlog um, showing you guys this and, like, exactly kind of, like, that's what happened to it. So, unfortunate, yes. But hopefully I'll have a replacement soon so I can go ahead and start doing airbrush tutorials for you guys because I do have one right off the top of my head that I really want to do, but I can't at the moment because my airbrush compressor doesn't work. So, <laughs> um, if they do want this one back, okay, fine. Uh, but I'm, I'm kind of hoping that I get to keep it because it would be nice to have like an extra gun and an extra hose just in case. So, but I'm, I mean, I'm not holding my breath. I, the, my main thing is just, you know what, I just would really like a replacement that works. So, that's where I'm at with this. But otherwise, you know what, it was, um, besides the box being a little bent, which I'm sure happens, you know what I mean, because it traveled, they're based out of, the seller is based out of Sacramento, California, so it traveled from Sacramento to Phoenix to here. Um, and it might have, the box may have gotten a little banged up when, um, it was put in my mailbox, but, you know, still, not a bad little kit. And for the price, I mean, I think that this was, um, like 28 Twenty-eight seventy, so rounded off to about twenty-nine dollars for the whole thing. I just wanted like something small and portable to start off with because I've never done airbrush makeup before, so I didn't really want to invest in um, one of the more expensive like airbrush compressors because I didn't know um, if I was gonna really like doing the airbrush or not. So I just wanted something like small and portable, and I found this on Amazon, and it was the perfect size and seemed like the perfect thing. So hopefully. Um, when I get the new one, when I receive it, then, you know what, it will end up working out really well. So, um, that's the situation with that. Also, what I got, um, this is, and I haven't taken it out of the bag yet, so I haven't needed to. This is the Dynair, um, this is the airbrush cleaner, and this is the deep clean. And this is basically for cleaning your airbrush gun. So I wanted a good one in Dynair seems like a pretty reputable company so I definitely wanted to order some of that because having an airbrush cleaner is essential especially like for someone like me that does the more special effects type makeup and mixing colors and changing colors and so on and so forth and this box right here this is my airbrush makeup okay um open this up that's okay. I got the eight primary colors, and uh, they are by Custom Body Art. It's seemed like a company. This is water-based airbrush makeup too, which I tend to like. So, in Custom Body Art, they're the same company that makes um, Snazaroo. 
So, and as you know, those of you who follow my channel know that I use Nazaru, um, water-based face paint, like, incessantly. So, I took that as a good sign, and I definitely want to get a water-based airbrush makeup to start off with. So, this is the, um, custom body art, and yes, good size. Um, these are 1.12 ounces, um, per bottle. So, you get quite a bit in there, and it's just a primary colors, like, um, I have white, green, purple, red, blue, yellow, um, yeah, I said purple, and, and pink. So, I got the eight primary colors to start off with. Um, as I expand with airbrush makeup, then they have, like, the eight, um, because these are the eight primary colors. They also have, like, pearl tones. They have metallic tones. They have, um, the eight secondary colors. So, just, you know what, went with these to start with. There's eight of them, so, and they will last a while. So, I'm excited to definitely break into them and start doing some airbrush. So, um, I'll let you guys know how these work out. And also, um, I order some stencils. They have tons of airbrush makeup stencils on Amazon. They have, um, they have BAS, which is badass stencils, which are the larger ones, and then they have BAMS, which is badass mini stencils, um, and a lot of different designs and everything that are really cool. But what I went with, uh, for now, I ordered three to start off with. Okay, and I got these off of um, Amazon, and yes, these are, you can wash these in, reuse them. So, I got that one, which is like the cracks, which um, I had already decided that these were going to be part of my first look with airbrush makeup. So, I got those, and then I got, I always have a problem, the one thing that I have the biggest issue with when I'm doing a look is drawing teeth. Um, I can do like the regular square teeth just fine, like the skull teeth just fine. But when it comes to like jagged, like monster teeth, I <laughs> I'm the first one to admit it too. Um, I can't. I mean, it, it turns out like just one big clusterfuck. It's like, are those teeth? It's like, well, yeah, they were supposed to be. <laughs> but um, so I got some teeth. So, I got some monster teeth, um, and it's fine, you know what, because when you're using a stencil, I've watched how it's done, you can always just do, like, half, just, it depends on where you place your stencil, but I definitely had to have some monster teeth, and then, now this is kind of funny, too, because, um, in the photo, it looked a lot smaller, but it's still awesome, nonetheless, um, the skull hand. <laughs> I thought that this was going to be like half the size, like maybe about like yay. Um, but no. Took it out of the package and it's huge. But you know what? Nonetheless, still, you know what? Use your imagination and it's completely doable. You can, I can definitely work with this. I just started laughing. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, it's actually <laughs> like the size of a hand. Um, so, those are the three stencils I got just to start off with. So, we'll definitely see how that goes. And the cool thing, too, with stencils is that, you know, you can use them with, like, regular face paint as well. So, if you don't want to do airbrush makeup, then, you know what? You can do the regular face paint with these. The airbrush makeup, especially, like, with this one, I'm sure would be a lot easier and go a lot faster, but you know what? They are versatile, so that's a good thing. So these are just the three that I got to start off with, <laughs> and I am pleased with them, and you know what? When I start using them, which you guys will definitely be around to see, then um, we'll see how it goes. So that's everything that I recently got um, from Amazon, So, and I am planning on ordering more. I have a I have a birthday coming up in um, about a month and a half. My birthday is the 18th of July. So, 
I'm like, okay, you know what? Use that opportunity to perhaps order some more stuff. So that's um, about the gist of it with all of that. So, um, yeah, just looking forward to getting, like I said, my new airbrush compressor so I can actually start doing the airbrush makeup and uh, do some tutorials with that, which I'm looking forward to, and I hope you guys are as well. Okay, um, I do. I have a shit ton to talk about today. So, second thing, um, when my husband went to, down to, okay, we usually get my special effects hair dye at Cash for Chaos, which you know is, like, where I get, like, all my t-shirts. They're home of the two for $20 t-shirts, and, um, our friend Mel is the owner. Hello, Mel, if you're watching this. And, um, I mean, like, my, pretty much the majority, with the exception of, like, maybe four or five t-shirts are, like, all from Cash for Chaos. So, um, and that's normally where I got my special effects hair dye because I used to carry it. Now, the only problem is, is that, um, for some reason, special effects hair dye won't deliver to them anymore. Um, so they've had a lot of problems, like, getting in any special effects hair dye, but normally I would get it there, but they also sell it at Zia Records out here in Vegas, which is not too far from where we live as well. So, um, I go, now go to Zia Records to get my special effects hair dye. <clears throat> so my husband was out and about yesterday and stopped in to grab me some hair dye and happened to notice, um, I don't know if we have any, any Hell Yeah fans out there, but I am for sure, and my husband is as well. Um, Hell Yeah did a, they did a signing, an in-store signing, uh, slash meet and greet last year out here. Um, it was during the, the fall. It was fall when they did, when they came out here last year, but, um, it was at Zia Records. And as my husband was leaving the store, he happened to notice this great big poster in the window that said June 5th, you know, they're going to be doing another in-store signing because they're coming out with a new album that's being released on June 3rd called Undeniable. Um, they, um, I don't know if you guys have been on, well, I know there's tons of, you know, YouTubers on here, so, um, they have their video for the song Human on, um, on YouTube, and it's really good, so I, looking forward to this next album coming out, but they are, they're having another in-store signing, um, the album comes out on Friday, and then they're doing the in-store signing on that Sunday at 3 p.m., so we're gonna have to go to another in-store signing for Hell Yeah, so, um, I'll let you guys know how that went, but yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that, and it's weird because we were just talking about it the day before, about, like, I wonder if they're going to come back here this year because, you know what, I was telling my husband, yeah, they have a new album coming out on the 3rd of June, and sure enough, yep, they're coming back to Zia Records here in Vegas, so. Mm. Uh, so I'll let you guys definitely know how that goes, and if uh, we can possibly get any pictures with them this year, because last year, huh, <laughs> Their road manager, um, who was with them or whatever, was kind of, like, bellowing out to people, uh, at the signing that, okay, we need to keep on moving this line along, you know what, just, you could get pictures of them, but you couldn't get pictures, like, with them. Um, I guess a couple people that stuck around, like, a little later, like, after, actually did end up getting a couple pictures, like, with the band, um... There is a gentleman that works with my husband. His girlfriend actually ended up getting a picture with Benny Paul. So, um, you know what? It would be awesome. It would be great. I'm not going to hold my breath. But, you know what? I mean, ugh, we met Doug Bradley this year. You know what I mean? So, it's like, I, I can't fucking eat sour grapes. So, I'm like, okay, you know what? So, if you know, get to see Hell Yeah, shake their hand or whatever. Which we did get to do last year, which was cool. But it's like, okay, you know what? So, okay, couldn't take a picture with Hell Yeah, but met Doug Bradley this year. So it's like, okay, you know what? Mm -hmm. it, it balances out really well. So, um, yeah, that's happening on June 5th. And also, yes, we went to Viva Drag Vegas again last night. And, oh, my gosh, they did phenomenal. Phenomenal. And I am encouraging you all, 
like all you locals that please, you know what, please go check out the show. It's every Saturday night at 11 p.m. at the Las Vegas Eagle, and it is hosted by Sean M. <laughs> um, and uh, it's a new show every week, like I was mentioning in my last vlog when I was talking about Viva Drive Vegas. Um, it's, uh, they do, they have a new show every week. You're never going to see the same show twice. So, they did a phenomenal job last night. Sean M. actually did this number. I, I can't even, I'll tell you what. I'll put together, like, a, like, a little slideshow of pictures from the show last night and show you guys, um, at the end of this vlog so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But you have to see this outfit that Sean M. had on. Um, the headdress, like, for it, like, weighed 40 pounds alone. So, um, just a whole matter of balance. But, yeah, um, Carne Asada was there again last night. Diamond Onassis was there again last night. Um, they had, let's see, Mimi Monet was in the show last night. And also, Brittany Glam was in the show last night. Um, Finn Anthony was supposed to sing in the show last night, but unfortunately... He had um, an asthma attack, so he is home resting. So, you know what? Best wishes to you, Finn, and I hope that you are recovering um, so you can come back soon. Um, but that's still a, a phenomenal show. Phenomenal show. And as always, Sean's mom, Dora, was uh, selling the raffle tickets again last night. And the raffle tickets, um, for those of you who don't know... Um, if you've heard this one before, then you know what, okay, disregard it, because I did, I did a vlog, um, last weekend about Viva Drag Vegas, but I have to mention them again in this one. Um, <clears throat> so, the raffle tickets, okay, they're a dollar a piece, or you can get six for five dollars, and what happens is, um, everyone who buys a raffle ticket, it's, you know what, all that money kind of goes into, um, a little bucket and um at the end of the show they draw a ticket and if you are the winning ticket then however much money was in the bucket it's like you get half of it and then the other half goes to the drag performers and they split it between them so um i really encourage you guys that if you go to the show um yes buy some raffle tickets because it is a, it is definitely a cool thing i think um that they're doing that so, because, I mean, hell, you know what I mean? It's like, it, it, and the more people who buy raffle tickets, obviously, the more money that's going to be um, in the in the pot. Um, <laughs> shut up, Sean. I know what you're going to say because I said the word pot. <laughs> Oops, I didn't say that. But uh, <laughs> that's going to be in the, in the bucket to uh, give away. Obviously, the more that you're going to get and the more that the girls are going to get. And um, I really think I, they, they deserve it because they, they always do a phenomenal job. So definitely go. And there's no cover charge. And you know what? Everybody there is super friendly. They're so super awesome. Um, like I said, it's a smaller venue, but it's an awesome venue. It's very... Um, and Mimi Monet was actually talking to us last night, and she was even saying that she likes the smaller venues because you get to interact with the audience a lot more, which, you know what? It hit the nail on the head. I agree, 100%. So it is an awesome little show, and I noticed that last night there were um, a lot more people there. So every show, hopefully, is going to get bigger and bigger, and there's going to be a lot more people there. So, you know what? I am going to mention Viva Drag Vegas incessantly because I think that... Um, Gosh, it, it's such a fantastic show, and it has such tremendous potential. And you know what? If it takes off, it's going to be awesome. And another thing that Sean M. does is he always reflects on the fact that when he was starting out in drag, there weren't a lot of people that really gave him a chance because he was new to the game. So what he tries to do is, like, he always promised himself that if he ever got his own show, that he would give the new performers a chance to be in the show, to perform, and that's exactly what he does. So you know what, that's that's awesome. So yeah, definitely go and check out Viva Drag Vegas. It's at the Las Vegas Eagle. They have a Facebook page. Um, I will put the link in the description bar down below. Um, and go and give the page a like. And um, you could also 
like find a lot of performers on like Instagram. I know Justin's on Instagram. Um, so Justin and I, gosh, everybody, everybody's on Instagram these days. Um, so, yep. Um, you can always go to, like I said, I'll do a little slideshow at the end. Um, you can go to Makeup Junkie 75, which is my public page, which I always put the link to in the description bar below, along with all the rest of my social media sites. And, um, oftentimes I post pictures from the shows and everything, so, yeah, go check them out every Saturday night at the Las Vegas Eagle, um, here in Las Vegas, and the show starts at 11 o'clock. So, yep, definitely go check out Viva Drag Vegas, because you won't be sorry. So, let's see. Do I have anything else that I want to mention? I'm trying to think. Um, I really, you know what, did I cover everything? I just want to make sure that I didn't leave, I didn't leave anything out. Um, oh, no. Oh, there is one thing that, that I definitely, um, wanted to mention. Um... And this is, um, a lot of, like, YouTubers do, uh, story times about, like, horror stories that they've had, whether it be at hair salons or whether it be, um, at different retailers that they've had bad experiences at. You know what? I have, <laughs> as I'm sure most of us do, I have some, um, horror stories that I could definitely... Um, share with you guys. So, in future vlogs, I'm going to be doing that. I'll do, like, a story time and, um, share with you guys, like, a horror story I've had about, um, a bad experience at a retailer or, I mean, I've had, let me put it this way, I've had bad experiences at a hair salon, I've had bad experiences at a fucking Dollar Tree. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> now, you would think that... Let me just reflect on that for a second. You would think that at a, at a goddamn Dollar Tree, you would not have, you know, a, like an issue. But, no, seriously. This this Dollar Tree, it's... <sighs> what the hell? Oh, and also, um... A certain beauty supply store. Now, okay, I, I said that I wasn't going to mention the name of, like, the retailers and stuff. Which, you know what, I really shouldn't. Because technically... Well, that's bad, and also they could sue the crap out of me, but, <laughs> um, but no, a certain beauty supply store I've had a bad experience at, but you know what, there are, um, good things that, like, came out of it, so that's what I want to get across to you guys, like, before I start any of these story times, but yeah, the Dollar Tree one is fucking hilarious, though. That's actually really funny. So, um, like I said, something good did come out of it, so, like, the end result's pretty cool, but... Um, so I'll start doing that, um, as well as, like, doing vlogs, but you know what, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, and like I said, um, the links to all my social media sites will be in the description bar below, along with the, um, links to the Lockjaw Facebook page and website, oh, Lockjaw, Lockjaw played a show last night, if you are a Milwaukee, Wisconsin resident, and, um, I mean, I hope that you got yourself down to the Rave Eagles Club in, uh, Milwaukee last night because Lockjaw did play a show, and this is most likely going to be their only show this year. It was kind of like a little Lockjaw reunion show, like some of the previous members of Lockjaw as well as, like, the, uh, current members of Lockjaw all got together and played a show, and from what I've seen of the pictures and the postings, they did pretty freaking well. So, I mean, I would love to go to a Lockjaw show. I've been a big supporter of Lockjaw for quite a few years. Um, the only problem is, is that they're in Wisconsin and I'm in Vegas. So it's, it's not that easy. I'm hoping in my heart of hearts that one of these days in the near future, hopefully sooner than later, Lockjaw can actually make it out to, um, our neck of the woods and maybe play a show in Las Vegas, that would be awesome. So, um, but I urge you to check out their pages, their website, and also their Facebook page. And also the links to the Brandon Bittner Memorial Facebook page and website will be in the description bar below, as well as oh, my friend Eric Hofstadter, who I've mentioned before, who is an awesome, awesome writer. Uh, Eric just has a new book out on Kindle, so um, I'm going to put the link to his... Um, all his information in the description bar before you can find him on Twitter. Um, also, my friend Terry West is an awesome um, 
<clears throat> excuse me. Oh, please don't tell me I'm going to get a dry spot in my throat. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, because if I start to, to hack... Okay. <clears throat> excuse me. So, our friend Terry West is also a great um, horror fiction writer. So, I'll put his information in the description bar below, along with a link to Cash for Chaos. Um, so, you can go check out their website. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, I think that about covers, like I said, along with the Las Vegas Eagle Facebook page. So, that about covers everything for now. And, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. And, um... Love to have you along, and I really appreciate all the support, uh, not only from my new supporters, but those of you who have been along for the ride the past two and a half, three years. I really appreciate it. I really do. So, uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have a great week. I will be back with you guys very, very soon, as soon as I get my new fucking airbrush in the mail. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'll see you soon, and... Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I will, um, yeah, fuck it. That's about it. Take care. <laughs> Much love. Bye. <laughs>